Welcome back to Tomatoes, Puppies, and Everything Gardening. I'm Heather. I'm coming to you from Central Virginia. It's kind of like zone seven to eight. Um, more like 7B right now, but I can grow a lot of things uh, in overwinter things in it that are normally for a zone seven. I mean, eight, just getting over being sick. So uh, yeah, I'm trying to get back in the swing of things. It's been a rough recovery uh, the last week and uh, just ready to get out in the garden and get started. But before I do that, there is one thing I do this time of year, and it is to go through my big stash of catalogs that I've gotten over the past year. So I usually wait until that rush of catalogs have come through the mail, and then what I will do is I will start making piles um, and kind of organize them by uh, brand or company, and then I will purge the duplicates. So for example, I have two of these. Um, I'll keep the most recent and then I will get rid of the older one. And I don't really get rid of these. What I usually like to do is I'll just find someone who's really new to gardening or getting into gardening um, and I will just gift the pile of catalogs to them. And usually, I would say always, that person is extremely happy to get those catalogs because they can get introduced to new varieties, new companies, and just to look at the pictures and kind of get an idea of what um, the product looks like from seed to plant. You know, sometimes they have pictures of seeds, sometimes they have pictures of grown plants, mature plants. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, just going to perch through these catalogs and I thought I would do a quick kind of review from my own personal experience uh, from each company. So that's what we're going to work on today. Um, we are going to go through, I'm going to give you a quick um, overview of each company. And there are some companies that don't put out catalogs and I have ordered from many of those and I have some videos on those seed hauls and company reviews. Um, you just kind of have to look through the channel. I think I do have a playlist that says something like seeds or maybe it says seed haul. Um, like I'm thinking in my gardener, they don't have a catalog. Um, there was a company I was on their website last night, Eden, I think it's Eden Brothers. Rose, something like that. Um, they don't have a catalog either. And I almost ordered from them and then I started checking the prices of what I really wanted against another website that we'll talk about here in a little bit. And the the website I'm gonna go with is like two two fifty cheaper per pack. So I ended up not placing that order. But I have ordered from Eden Bros just to get a very specific variety of wallflower. Um, it was a particular color I wanted. I couldn't find it anywhere else. Um, so there are tons and tons of seed companies. More than I'm going to talk about today. I'm just going to be tip of the iceberg. Um, there's, gosh, well let's just get started. All right, so I've got everything kind of spread out and we're just going to go company by company. This is going to be a pretty quick video. Um, Let's see, so I told you about in my gardener, he does not have a catalog, but evidently they've sent me coupons at some point, so I'll hang on to those. Um, I have several tulip and bulb companies here. I'm not really interested in growing bulbs until we move, so I have not even been looking at these, but I think what I will do is probably keep fall of 2023 from here. We will donate that to someone who likes to look at catalogs or is new to gardening. I guess I could keep this one too. And I have noticed there's a decline in the amount of companies who are actually sending out catalogs. I was really disappointed in the amount of catalogs I got this year. So Select Seeds, they did not send me one this year. Um, but I'm going to keep this catalog. And often if you sign up to get catalogs, sometimes there will be coupons. And sign up for their emails too because companies love to send emails with coupons all the time too. Even companies that you wouldn't normally think uh, that does that, like Johnny's, uh, every now and then if I haven't ordered from them, they will send me a coupon. Okay, so I'm gonna keep this one. Select Seeds. Um, can't think of anything off the top of my head about that company. Maybe I've not ordered from them. Maybe I have, I would have to check my email. So True Seed, I have ordered from them and I do have their 2024 catalog, which I'm gonna keep. Um, some of these companies, like this is also so true. See, this is the year prior. They provide some really nice charts. And that is one reason it's beneficial to sign up for catalogs. 
I love these charts that have the germination temperature for the seeds. So that is one of the most valuable things um, I have found with some of these charts that come in the seed books. And I also like that it's got a frost tolerance chart too here. So I'm gonna hang on to this until I have time to look at the new catalog and make sure that this chart is in there. Otherwise I will pull that chart out. And again, there's a coupon, free shipping. So on your catalogs, there's usually something of a coupon, either free shipping or so much off. And then we've got seeds and such. I have not ordered from them, but um, I have some stuff in my cart to try. Okay, so online their prices seem pretty reasonable. In the catalog, they look a little bit more expensive than what I saw on their website, but they do do this kind of deal thing. It's like cheaper by the pack. So I think all the packs are like anywhere from $3.25 to $3.99. Um, and I think right now there's some kind of deal like, I don't know, maybe free shipping if you bought so many. I'm gonna have to really look through here before I place my order. So we'll move on to the next company. This is not really uh, for seeds, but they have a lot of garden decor. So somehow I ended up on the smelling list and the stuff is really cute, but it's kind of expensive for me just because I'm a little bit of a cheapskate. But <laughs> look at that Bigfoot. That's kind of cute. Uh, definitely want to look through that. So I'm going to hang on to that. And I love, love, love looking at roses. Um, heirloom roses. I have a ton of stuff in my cart. And then also uh, David Austin. I, I should have a catalog, I thought, for heirloom roses, but... It's not here. I already went through this pile and I did not see it. Look at how gorgeous. I love looking through this book. And there's even some information in the back on diseases um, and pruning. So these books can really be, you know, they're free, but they can also be very valuable too with information. Uh, Bluestone Perennials, um, if I have ordered from them, it has been a really long time because you can see this is from spring of 2020. And they've not sent me a catalog since, so I guess they don't like to send you a catalog if you don't order. But they have a lot of cool stuff to look at, and they have sales all the time. I'm pretty sure I get emails from them quite a lot. I really like that. That Tixie there, the ice line. It's really pretty. Okay, so I'm going to hang on to that because it's the only one I have. Burpee. Um, you know, they haven't sent me a catalog in a while either. But we will hang on to this one. And there's information about growing in there as well. A lot of these are more of your standard seeds that you could go get at a box store. Um, but I do like some of their soils, and I do buy some of their fertilizers. They're or, um, organic products. There's a seed starting mix that I love by them, and I think they've changed it for this year. And I'm going to be really disappointed because I don't think I'm going to be able to find it. I've been searching online in local stores for pickup. Uh, Gurneys, I have never ordered from them. They must have sent me this because I'm on someone else's uh, mailing list for seeds. Maybe you can comment if you've ordered from them before. I have ordered a lot from Hudson Valley. I'm not sure if they're doing catalogs anymore. This is the only one I have. Maybe they've cut back. I could understand that. Um, I guess with the economy in the last few years. But I order from them quite a lot. I really love their seeds. They have gorgeous um, seed packs that have artwork. Actually, I've ordered that one before with the frogs. I think it was some kind of, um, what was it? I don't know. But a lot of unique varieties and also dwarf and like patio type varieties. Johnny's, they do send me email coupons, but they have not sent me a catalog in a while. This is 2022. Maybe I should ask for a new one, but this is another one that has a lot of germination information uh, for temperature range and very detailed um, information on growing. This will definitely be a catalog to have, even if you don't want to order from them because it just has so much detailed information. They are a little hot, but like I said, they do send coupons. There is a lettuce variety I like from them called Wildfire Lettuce. That does really well, even in the cold here. So definitely, you know, there's a place for everything. Maybe not you don't order all your seeds from somewhere like this, but maybe very specific seeds that you need for a particular reason. Seed Service Exchange. Look at these gorgeous catalogs. Really love them. Uh, they have beautiful pictures on their seed packs as well. I have ordered from them many times. 
I mean, this is like a little magazine. This looks really entertaining. Have not got to sit and look through this yet. You can see there's some more information on different varieties. And the cost is fair. I would say I rarely um, get coupons from them, but they did send me one about three weeks ago and I did place a tiny order. Maybe it was free shipping. I think I got free shipping. I noticed in the last week, a few companies are starting to send out some coupon codes. Uh, Prairie Moon, this is good for growing native things. Um, this is a, a really nice company and you can also buy plugs if you don't want to grow things out from seed. But with these type of plants that are native and perennial, they're usually pretty easy to grow. Um, they have ideas in here on particular um, like solutions for problem areas. Like this is uh, for medium soil. They kind of divide it up by that. Host plants. This is great uh, catalog to get on their mailing list as well. I'm trying to think if I ever get coupons for them in my email. Not sure. Uh, but I like this catalog. This is really fun too. And then pine tree. I should have three of these. Yeah, I do. So definitely we'll purge two of these and keep this one. The most recent. They have a really fair price on flower seeds. And so I have quite a few flower seeds in my cart with them. I haven't placed the order yet. Um, but I thought were really reasonable that were cheaper than other websites. So when I was on that Eden Bros, um, there were some particular flowers I really wanted. And so I went here and looked and they did have them. They were like two, two fifty cheaper per pack. So I ended up just, I'm going to order from these guys. This was one of my best Christmas gifts this past Christmas from my husband. Uh, while I was sick, I did take some time to go through a tiny bit of the book. I did not even make it through, uh, maybe... 20%, 30% of the book, uh, but I really, really love it. I think if you wait until after Christmas, you can order this on sale on the, their website, on Baker Creek's website for $4.95. Normally it's like somewhere between $12.95 and $14.95, um, but this year they must have had extras because I noticed it was still available on their website. And uh, normally they sell out, but I was really happy to get this um, as a Christmas gift. It's been fun. It did help me in my recovery because it kept me on the couch resting and looking at the beautiful pictures. And there's actually a carrot cake recipe in here that I want to try because it's vegan and uh, we are an egg-free family. Of course, we've got um, Baker Creek. You can see I've been reluctant to get rid of these because they're so pretty. Oh, this is gorgeous. I probably won't even get rid of these and donate them like I'm supposed to because they're just so pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And then, of course, I've got the big catalog that I got for Christmas. That is huge. And these are actually really decent size, too, and have a lot of good information. And then, and so I do like, I do like rareseed.com um, or Baker Creek for particular things, uh, just for really unique things. Like, I just ordered some unique rare, they said rare, and brand new, um, I think for this year, black peppers. Like they were really good size, long pepper, like maybe bigger than a jalapeno. Um, and then, <clears throat> sorry, my throat's getting dry. <laughs> Still trying to get over all this sickness. Um, Baker Creek, not Baker Creek. I'm sorry, Botanical Interest. Love, love Botanical Interest. See, this is last year's. So this one had a 15% off coupon. Um, I love the information they put on their seed packs. It's just very detailed, very pretty. And the prices, I think, are very fair on this website. So definitely this is one you need to have in your collection. Look, here's some tips on lettuce and harvesting. There's so much information in these books. Um, it's really to your benefit to get these catalogs. Usually, once you get on the mailing list, you're on there forever, but as you can see, that's not always true because I do not have nearly as many catalogs as I used to. Southern Exposure Seed Exchange, this is another company I really like, and it's really good for me because I'm here in Virginia, and this company is from Virginia. So their seeds are adapted to my central Virginia location. They should do extremely well here. But I know a lot of other people in different parts of the country also order from them. Oh, these are the um, those are the collards that I have outside. 
and I'm trying to get to go to seed. Um, very fair pricing. I don't think I ever get coupons from them, and that's okay. I mean, their prices are fair. Their shipping is very reasonable. In fact, I ordered garlic from them this past fall, and I was really impressed. Very happy with my garlic. Okay. I think we're getting to the end, which is good because my voice is about ready to croak. <laughs> And then Park Seed, there are a couple things in my cart that I need to order from them that I've only been able to find from them. I cannot think of what it is off the top of my head, but, oh, um, it might be the Silver Cup, which I've been looking for. I don't know. The prices are a little bit more expensive than, say, the Pine Tree, but they do have some really pretty varieties. Um, so I think this is the catalog. Yeah, I just went through this catalog last night and kind of added a few things to my wish list on their website. And that's something you can do too. So you don't have to dog ear or mark the pages. You can just add the items you're interested in to your wish list on their website after you log in. Like I, I added that one last night. I thought that was pretty. It's a blanket flower, but it's almost like a a solid rose color okay so that's another company that I've ordered from several times territorial seed this is kind of in the the realm of like Johnny's they're kind of expensive you can see um, some of the prices yeah a little bit expensive but they have a lot of hybrids they have a lot of things that are geared for specific problems and just like Johnny's they give you the temperature germination rates uh, how deep to plant your seeds a lot of detailed growing information which I find very valuable um, I'm trying to think what I've ordered from them I have ordered from them at least once or twice very high germination as well as Johnny's and uh, nothing wrong with the company it just might not be feasible to order all your seeds from these higher cost companies but very specific seeds that may help you with problem areas or something that you want uh, to germinate very quickly and germinate really well okay and then Harris seed these guys I think are a little bit more expensive too I may have only ordered from them once or not at all and honestly do you see the pricing I'm not seeing the pricing that kind of scares me when I don't see the price hmm do not like catalogs that don't have the prices listed right with the item okay so it looks like yeah don't like that too much I'll have to go through my emails and see if I've ever ordered from them. If I have, it's only been once or, yeah, not at all. Because, um, well, hopefully they do a better job with pricing on their website. All right, guys, that was it. So I've got a nice pile here to kind of go through one more time and then make me a nice little... Um, stash of those I want to keep for reference and then also I'm going to donate some of these because I can't keep them all hope you're having a great gardening week guys uh we'll talk to you soon bye